For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, a simple and a useful uh, configuration which is a log rotate so basically how you can manage your log files on the Linux servers how you can manage them using an, a log rotate concept so what is this exactly a log rotate and how you can configure the log rotate and custom log rotate and how you can manage the files so what is the use cases and how you can do that so let's jump into the topic and uh, see that so here uh, if you can see that what is a log rotate so example a log rotate is designed to ease administration of systems that generate large number of log files to rotate log file based on the file size time and date it allows rotation that is automatic compression removal and mailing of log files each log may be handled hourly daily weekly monthly or when it goes grows too large so uh, this is like example the based on the date and time and the um, log size so hourly weekly monthly you can rotate the log files so normally log rotate is run on cron job that is daily so the default log rotate jobs will be configured so which is called slash etc under cron dot daily daily there is a script called log rotate so in that so it will not modify a log times that are multiple once day unless criteria for that log is based on the log size and log rotate is being run times that are multiple a day unless if you use a force option so what that means is that so log rotate can only run a daily basis so like if you, if you wanted to run a uh, log multiple times a day or if you want to rotate the log file a multiple times day so it won't rotate but if the log size is more than something like if you specify something like that i want to rotate the log file after 10 mb in size so then that way you can rotate the log so multiple time a day or something like that but you have to use an a force option to run this log rotate script okay let's see that so log rotate configuration and how we can do that and what is the options here so based on so when we configure basically the log rotate so based on the log file size so i don't want to see a large single log file instead i wanted to cut the log files multiple pieces based on their size and uh, time based log rotation so example i wanted to rotate this uh, logs uh, every day or weekly or monthly something like that or every hour if the log force is more then you can also rotate on the hourly basis so compress old log files example so which is a very very useful uh, for us like if you have an a 100 MB log file if you compress it then which is going to save 80% of your data size example 100 MB files if you compress it comes to the uh, 15 MB to 20 MB in between because it's a log file so the compression ratio would be more and um, clean logs clean log files which are uh, matching log rotation rule so example say i want to min, uh, specify only the uh, 10 files on the log directory after 10 they should be 
deleted automatically so in that way you can use an, a rotation based rule like uh, how many rotations of the log will be deleted so old logs will keep on deleting and the new logs will be generating so create new files after log rotation so uh, what happens so it will truncate the file and automatically it will create the new log file so that way the log file will be keep on rotating and there is a file will be truncated from that so especially when you are dealing with the rcs log server with wide range of devices you have to clear up and store logs properly otherwise this space may fill up quickly and which may lead to interruption of other services example like uh, whenever you are uh, dealing with a uh, large log files like uh, firewall logs you push to the uh, syslog server then the firewall generates a lot of log files lot of data to through the logs so then your log disk will be filling up immediately so then what you have to do you have to quickly rotate the log files and truncate those log files and save it somewhere else or back up somewhere else for the later verification so that way you can do based on these timelines based on the log file size time or the compression the old files cleaning up the uh, old files and generating the new files and creating the new files after a log rotation rule something like that so how you can do that so what is the uh, packages you have to install and what is the custom rules you can write it all of this stuff we can see on the practical session let's jump into the practical and see how we can do this log rotation configuration so here uh, i am into the centos 8 version so most of the like 8 7 are the 6 like the log rotate most similar there is only a minor changes on the log rotate uh, configuration uh, there is a version changes and there are some new improvements but most of the versions like from the 6 to 8 it's almost similar in the configuration so basically how the log rotate will run so it has a slash etc log rotate sorry cron dot daily here there is a log rotate script so this script will kick off every day in the midnight so then which will run this log rotate configuration file and it will be if uh, this script what it says that if this command is successfully run then it says this log rotate uh, alert ex exited abnormally with exit value something like that so after that then it will write that exit value here if it is exited with the zero then it will write the exit value over there so this configuration file here so basically log rotate configuration file rotate the log files weekly keep uh, weeks worth of backlog four weeks and uh, if it is no file there then there is a create the new empty file um, and add the date extension there if you want to compress you can add the compress and include the rock rotate d so which means that whenever you keep any file on this log rotate slash it is a slash rock rotate dot d file which will be automatically executed with the log rotation schedule the log rotation configuration file so let's jump into the slash it is log rotate dot d here so these are the configuration files so the log rotate configuration files so example uh, i would like to see a syslog this is log here you can see that so this is a normal syslog files for the system so the system will generate the cron logs and the mail logs messages general messages and uh, audit logs and the print spooling uh, messages so what this configuration file says which is says that so these are the files uh, cron mail log messages secure spooler and uh, which is the configuration which says that missing 
is okay which means that if the um, configuration is missed if the log file is missing that's okay do not issue any error message which means that if there is no log file like example a slash or slash log there is no clone log file then it says that if the log file is missing that's okay no need to issue any error message so that's what's the meaning of missing okay and the shared scripts and post to rotate so whenever the rotation completes what it should do so it should run the name system ctl kill iphone yes and uh, rcslog dot service true then end the script so what it is that it will kill this uh, existing rcslog and regenerate that process which means that um, whenever it is running it cut off there and restart that service back so that is the process which is specified on this syslog so similar way uh, example there is a crony is specified which is also similar and there is a cup service is specified uh, which is also almost similar uh, missing is okay not if empty so uh, no do not notify um, whenever there is a file is empty so something like this so these are the configuration files on the uh, log rotate so based on the example this boot log configuration may be a little different so which is say that boot log and if it is missing is okay and rotate daily base and uh, copy truncate which means that truncate the file from there uh, on the log file and rotate seven which means that uh, it counts the seven log files so now the eight file comes it will delete the last file and keep always seven files on that here so that is the rotate seven so notify which means that if it is log file is uh, empty do not rotate or do not do any stuff on this empty whenever there is a log file is empty that is was the configuration here on the log file so in similar way if you want to rotate some log files uh, somewhere else which is not on the slash var example i wanted to rotate some in the slash temp directory something like that so then what you can write here so i just create some directory here something like uh, slash tmp slash log so i wanted to rotate the files which are there on that temp slash log file tmp slash log in that i wanted to rotate the files some log what are the files are there which is the extension called log i wanted to rotate them so then how you can do write your custom script so simply what you can do is that go to sorry go to this path slash etc slash log rotate dot t and uh, create the file example say i specify tmp log something like this here and uh, specify the path where your log files ro located example here is my log file located similar way so similar way to this log files where we specified the right similar way we just so not confuse just here i'm showing so this is way you can just specify there similar way similar way you just specify here okay so here uh, which log file you would like to rotate example say if you have some log file or you do not have any log file maybe which extension would be ends with the log dot log file something like this okay then you can put a star there and say so when you wanted to execute this so i wanted to example say that create and the with the file permission 644 and i would like to see that root should get the permissions and it should like to be a rotate daily basis and if it is missing that's okay which means that there is no file that's okay ignore 
if it is uh, rotate how many times you should you want to rotate how many files you'd like to keep on that so i just wanted to keep uh, four files over there so do you want to compress the log file yes or no then say compress then uh, do you want to example if it if the file is empty what you would like to do so do not do anything not if empty not if empty which means that do not do anything if the file is empty so how should this file should be truncate so copy truncate copy truncate and uh, shared scripts and if you want to uh, run some uh, example post scripts example uh, so what is the extension you would like to give to that files so date extension i would like to give the date extension which means that after the log iphone date will be added to that log file so after post script you wanted to run some anything uh, on that uh, file example i want to execute some scripts after the post example i wanted to after whenever the log file is rotated i wanted to uh, copy that file to somewhere else on the backup location or the somewhere else on the destination something like that so you can also specify post rotate here so example i would like to say slash script here I wanted to run something like uh, backup log dot s something like this and end script. So here you have to start this and here you have to end it. Maybe you can also do like this or do like this, no matter. So like this way you can run it. So here you have to create this uh, scripts file script file whenever the post rotate is happened it will execute so i uh, currently i'm not using this feature so i will use it so i'm commenting this or i can remove this from here so it's a simple configuration like i wanted to truncate some log files and keep rotating this four times so i just go to slash tmp log here and I'm just quoting, creating something like sample.log file here. Sorry. Sample.log file here. And I just edit it and write something sample log testing. If it is not, uh, there's no data is also that's okay. But uh, I would like to see something the file should be rotating. So now the file is created here so how to check that whether your configuration is working fine or not so what you can do is that simply run log rotate iphone f slash etc log rotate dot configuration file so this file which is already included that uh, slash etc log rotate dot d configuration file so whatever the files you pay uh, created on that log rotate.d will be executed automatically so which says that end script ignoring the line that's okay and go to slash tmp and log and see that so the file has been rotated and created the sample dot log with the compression and added with the end to date so um, slash edc log rotate dot d here i think there's no record of ending the script here that's it so now again if i wanted to run it here so again i just run the file here but this time it won't run because the file is empty right you can see that the file is empty that's why it won't do anything okay that way you can simply create your own log rotation based on this so here uh, but 
some example uh, like uh, I wanted to rotate the log file uh, at every hour something like that or every few minutes something like that then how you can run that this file so what you can do is that you can just create the uh, configuration file um, somewhere else your customized configuration file example you can also um, slash etc log rotate log rotate dot configuration file similar like this you can simply um, create one more log your custom log rotate file okay then after that what you can do here it is that uh, add this configuration in the log rot that configuration file itself in this log rotate file itself then you run this cron job schedule the cron job so which means that um, slash usr bin log rotate maybe where is log rotate you can copy this file here and if I'm yes is for state file like uh, I would like to see that what is the states of that file state file and you can specify somewhere else on the temporary or somewhere else so I say log rotate dot status and I will execute that custom log rotate dot configuration file so this command you just execute from the cron tab so every hour or a similar way you just copy this this custom configuration file into the slash etc cron dot hourly so here you just copy that file so what happens it will run every hour then your logs files will be rotated every hour so based on your requirement if you have in a huge file size to rotate on uh, hourly basis so this is way you can use log rotate so uh, I can say that there are so many options in the log rotate you just uh, look at it man 8 log rotate uh, here is the name configuration path so you can see that there are so many options here you can see there are numerous options in this you can see compress compress cmd compress test copy create create directory exist so many so many options so many options so based on this you can figure it out your requirement how you can rotate your scripts or the how you can rotate your log files based on your requirement you can figure it out using this man 8 log rotate then refer this uh, configuration and do your own configuration okay that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses do not forget to share this video to your friends and support me for uh, so that i i am more enthusiastic if i get more views and more subscribers then i can create more and more videos for you